Okay, so some new tricks in the um, visual editor in JDeveloper 11G. So one thing that people get is they get at some point to have a very cramped space area here for editing the page. So one thing you probably want to do is change the resolution here to something bigger, something like that. And then you can suddenly scroll through your page and see the various components more easily. One other thing that is new in 11G uh, Pet Set 1 is the uh, option to control how our binding is going to be displayed. So if you look currently um, here, if I do the full binding, you basically get in the fields the same thing that you used to get in previous versions of JDeveloper where it says the full binding uh, expression language. However, there are things that uh, can look nicer when you're doing page design. So one option is to do the none and then um, your pages would just show up like that. Okay, it's a little cleaner, especially if you want to take screenshots and stuff like that. Um, another option is to generate the dummy data and then you basically see which fields are numeric and which fields are uh, dates and which fields are um, just simple characters, something like that. And the other option which is probably the most useful is actually the abbreviated expression language where you don't see all the binding text before the component, just the actual component and um, what attribute you're getting here. The other thing I wanted to show is the convert option. So you might have noticed that um, convert is not working as before. For example, if you click here on a tab, you won't actually have a convert option to convert a tab to something else. Uh, you will get the convert option if you're cli clicking on some text and um, you actually get a convert to and you get a specific set of uh, items that you can convert this input text to. So this is a little different than the previous versions of JDeveloper. It's a little bit more accurate in terms of what is being done when you're converting something. But there's also a new feature which is a, a little hidden uh, that allows you to do convert in another way. And this is to basically um, take the component from here and drag it using the right mouse click. So if I take, for example, an output text component and drag it with my right mouse um, pressed, onto the phone number and drop it, I'll get an option to convert this input text to an output text. Okay. Like that. Um, you might have noticed also that uh, I can also get the surround with option. So another thing that you can do with a right mouse click is to pick, for example, a panel box and instead of, again, uh, using the left mouse, click the right mouse button and drag and drop it, for example, on the output text and then you can just surround this item with a box. Then it's a um, very easy matter to just take and drop other um, input text components into the box and just enlarge what you have there, um, placing stuff in the right place. Okay.